May I present the Blue Cogent's Emissary? <laughs> Greetings and well met, old friends. The Elder sends his regards. Soroban, it's good to have you with us. If, uh, you might humor me. Thank you for coming, Sorba. Doubtless you have already been informed of our plans and the role we would have your people play. However, I seek your counsel as a Kojin of the Blue. Be it by spell or siegecraft. Could your forces destroy the underwater foundations of Doma Castle's outer wall? Hmm. Explosives coupled with a few incantations. Yes, that might produce sufficient force. Such a thing could indeed be done. Then I wish to revise the plan. Instead of assisting the Confederacy in securing the Enclave, I would have the Kojin advance upstream beneath the water and breach a segment of the outer wall. I mean to flood Dorma Castle. My lord, the castle is a sacred symbol, the very heart of our nation. To destroy it is unthinkable, unconscionable. You cannot do this! I can and I will if it improves our chances. By flooding the castle, we remove the better part of their forces from the field and force Yotsu to retreat to the highest levels of the keep. Tell me that is not a worthwhile trade. But my lord! That castle was entrusted to you by your father, and his father before him. I say to you again, it is the heart of our nation. Stone walls do not a nation make, my friend. Her people do. And as long as we yet live, we can rebuild. So let us only think of this battle, of victory here and now. For without that, we have no future. I see that you are resolved, Lord Hian, and I would not presume to gainsay your decision. I will inform the Elder of your revised strategy, and instruct our sappers to make ready. Our preparations are all but complete. Once we receive word from our Kojin allies, we shall set our plans in motion. We shall fight, and we shall prevail.
You're awake. I was just, um, well, they threw me out, actually. Told me I needed to get some sleep. Ready for the big day. Not long now, eh? I'm nervous, of course, but I also feel like... Like I didn't know where I was going, but maybe, finally... Something's gonna change, you know? Really, really change. And when the dust has settled, we'll see what we've won, and what we've lost. I'm going to give it my all tomorrow. Everything I've seen and felt, I won't let it be for nothing. Right, off to bed. Don't want to overdo it, and neither should you. Oh, but before you sleep, you should look in on Elfano and Alize. Quietly, of course. Another restless soul. Come, come. Raise a glass to freedom. Hmm. Good. Good. I should be interested to know her thoughts on the matter. Ah, that's enough, Gosetsu. You'll not convince anyone with your drunken ramblings. We've talked about this, all of us. We are flooding the castle tomorrow, and that's the end of it. I know, I know. I accepted your decision, and I do not intend to go back on my word. Nevertheless, as the battle draws near, I cannot help but recall our many travails, and it fair compels me to speak. In all my time serving as a leader of men, there are two failures which haunt me to this day. The first, our defeat at the hands of the Empire twenty-five years past, and the subsequent imprisonment of your father. Long did I consider offering up my life in atonement, until Lord Kyan allowed at last to receive visitors called for me, of all people, for my unborn child. He said, for my dearest Shun, live. My second failure, of course, was the betrayal of that selfsame command, when in the rebellion I failed to protect not only Lord Kayan, but Lord Hien too. I yet live, having known such disgrace, is an affront to the Kami themselves. Yet you, all of you, so fit to grant this shameful creature, this failure, another chance to serve a greater purpose. Thank you for pitying an old fool. Now, now, it is far too soon for that. Save your tears for the morrow. You may be sure we will have ample cause to shed them, be they for joy or despair. Ah, even that sounds morose. We who yet walk the path should not think too much on the destination. 
When the hour arrives, we shall welcome what comes with open arms. Is right about one thing, though. We have you and yours to thank for this chance. All debts will be repaid. On that you have my word. But first we must live past tomorrow, no? If you've no intention of sleeping, you giddy, you may as well join us. Forgive me, my lord. I did not mean to... Uh, if that is your will. <laughs> 